What's up, YouTube? Johnny Bo here. Um, you might be thinking, hey, this isn't a Wii U. Uh, no, it is not. It is my Xbox One. Um, I just got Rare Replay. Uh, it just came out today, and I wanted to give a little quick look of it. Um, and I wanted to start here because um, I think this might be the dumbest thing that any game has done this generation. So what? if you don't have an Xbox One or a PS4, what it usually does is you put the disc in, then you um, it installs the disc uh, to your system. Now, what this did when you put in the Rare Replay disc, like 10 items came up to install. And the 10 items included these Xbox 360 games. Um, so instead of being on the disc, these Xbox 360 games needed to be downloaded off of Live. I don't understand why they did this. Um, it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but the only explanation is, I, I, I think if you have been keeping up with uh, the Xbox One news, you know that they are doing backwards compatibility with 360 games. I think these games, these 360 games, are part of the 100 that they're going to launch with. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty confident I've seen Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts in the little graphic that they've been showing for it. Uh, but... I'm pretty sure it's a safe bet to say that these games are going to be in the program, and uh, that kind of sucks because, all right, on this uh, in this collection there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, six games. So if these are part of the program, this takes out nine, three, six games that that you might, it might take uh, a spot of one that you want, or that everybody wants. Um, so hopefully that doesn't happen. I mean, I hope these are just separate, but I don't think that's the case. I think these are part of the 100 that are supported, and that really sucks, um, because, like, this Perfect Dark is, like, the arcade version. Um, so is this Jetpack. Um, that means that, well, I know they confirmed that all first-party 360 games are going to be supported, um, but that also means all first-party arcade games are going to be supported, and that kind of sucks because that takes that takes spots off of ones that people might actually want. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't understand why they did this. Um, they could have fit everything on the disc. Each game is... I mean, the 360 dedicated games are, at most, 8 gigs each. Um... The arcade ones are a gig, maybe half a gig, um, and the Rare Replay itself is 10 gigs, and I think these these discs hold like 50 gigs. I don't know why they didn't put them all on the one gig. I just wanted to point that out so when if you get this game, that's what happens. Um, they clog up your game library, um, and you could also see the, the other games I have. I had a fridge clean because uh, I was running out of space, and I never played some of these games. Um, but let's get right into Rare Replay. I'm just going to click it. Um, it has a pretty awesome opening, so uh, I'm just going to let it run. I won't say anything. I'll just let it run, and then when we get to the menu, I'll start there. Jeff, 
Bulls ready, tighten in the lights. Let's get your cameo, your can you open your eyes so the game you know we blew up but it's on the song just so you can play the ball. It's a rapid day around this place, a place that's a whole that new. Over 30 years of laughs and tears, it's time for the replay. I thank you. Alright, well. That was a neat little presentation that they did at the beginning. Um, I think it's pretty cool. The uh, the presentation of this game is, is fantastic. It's kind of like a movie theater. And these are little posters on the wall. Um, I don't know <laughs> what most of these games are. I mean, I, I loaded this up a couple times. I tried to record uh, this quick look. Um, a little bit ago but I ran the dishwasher and you can hear it in the back and it's really annoying uh, so I'm just gonna re-record um, yeah yeah I don't, I don't know what any of these are um, I do know what Battletoads is and here's the arcade version of Battletoads uh, Killer Instinct that has a Xbox One version as well Banjo-Kazooie, Jeff Force Gemini, Perfect Dark Banjo Tooie, Conquered Bad Fur Day, Grab by the Ghoulies cameo. Um, so some of these games I've heard of, uh, but a lot I have never heard of. Uh, so let's jump into one. Let's jump into Battletoads Arcade. Now, I loaded this up before, um, and every time you load up, oh, you know what, I think I could have picked a different one, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I'm gonna ram your frogging hide so full of holes. That sounds so wrong. Yeah, so, there's like a... Like a arcade uh, beat em up. Um, this is different than the NES version. Yeah. Boom! Kind of glad I am re recording because I tried to play this one before. And I did horrible. I was probably I probably died twice by now on that other. Oh yeah, squash those rats. And these guys eat them. Boom. Yeah, so the presentation in this game is fantastic. I mean, look at the little uh, stuff on the side. I think I can pick this up. Oh my goodness. I'll do this uh, death run style um, and play until I die. How about that? <laughs> and if you haven't checked out my other death runs, I think you should. I really like those. But yeah, there's 30 games in this collection. Oh my goodness. And most of them I've never played before. 95%. I think I only played Nuts and Bolts. Alright, so that is... Let me get out of here. So that's the arcade version of... Uh, Battletoads. You see this little... Yeah, the presentation in this game is... Is what I think every col uh, col collection of games should be. Um, I don't want to go into one that has a cutscene... Like, eh. I don't know what this is, so I'm gonna play it. Every time you enter a game for the first time, I think you get an achievement. Yeah. Quit playing. Now this is the first 360 title that I've played. I, I don't know how this works. I don't know if it kicks me out. It does. It does. 
That is stupid. It kicks you out. It kicks you out of the um, rare replay, and it puts you into the 360 version of the game. Oh, that is so dumb. So th this, so far, I really like this game. I really like how they presented it, but this really, this really does it does me in for. It. Look, look at this. This is taking minutes to get in. No, you should no, you should never do this. I don't know if this is because I haven't set this up yet. Um, but this is really stupid. I, I I was wondering what the 360 games were gonna do because they they are in a separate they are not in on disc so. Oh, this is really dumb. Well, I mean, if you like the games, if you like their, if you like Rare's games, I mean, it. I'm hoping that this is just one-time deal. I mean, if it takes this long to load a game, load a 360 game every time, it is definitely not worth it. Um, and. I hope that it's a one-time deal. Maybe I'll load up a different one um, just to see what it does. Well, that's very disappointing. You know what? I'm not even going to play. I'm just going to... How, how do I get out of here? Let's, oh my god. And then you have to reopen the, the game. Oh my goodness. Now this is the first time I've ever done this. I, I have not tried this before. Um, but that is stupid. That is outright stupid. Alright. Hopefully I can skip that intro. If not, I'll edit it out. Alright, good. You can skip it. <laughs> Oh, why would they do it this way? So do ah, uh, uh. what's this? Oh, this is like a challenge. Oh, that is okay. Okay. Oh, that that is nice. So this is kind of like um, NES Remix. If you played that, there's little snippets. Let's try to get one. Yeah, let's do the Battletoads one. Okay, so I knew that I I thought there was challenges. Um, because I saw. All right, what do you gotta do? Listen, Toad score at least fifteen thousand points in sixty seconds. Okay. All right. Well, that that was five thousand. Ten thousand. Seriously? Seriously, this might be the easiest challenge ever. Alright. Where are you? I'm back here. That, that is the easiest challenge ever. Okay. I'm assuming there's like... Um... Oh no. Get up! I'm assuming there's like gold, bronze, and silver and stuff like that. Uh, so it looks like it's easier to just punch them. You know, I. Th yeah. Alright, well. That's all you gotta do, I guess. There's no gold, silver, platinum, anything like that. Uh, I'm assuming they get harder, but that's cool. I do like that. Um, I do like the snapshot shot feature. I thought it was just like pictures of the 
the games or something. I didn't know what it could have been. Um, and I think this is his bonus videos. What is this? Welcome here. Yeah, earn more. Uh, okay, as you get stamps, you earn more videos and stuff. Okay. Okay, that's pretty neat. Let's see if I have any. How to view. Okay, so I have to get two more stamps and I unlock that video. Okay. Um, so that's pretty neat. I like these this little uh, theatrical feel to it. So yeah, you can check out developer interviews and stuff like that. All right, now the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to jump back into a 360 game to see if it's going to take that long to get back in. And if it is, I don't know if I'm going to play the 360 games because that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Huh. Okay. All right, so I played... I, I played Banjo Kazooie on on the 360, um, and it looks like it carries it over. Yeah, it definitely looks like it carries it over, carries your your progress over. So that's nice. All right, that is one good thing. Um, now I just want to try to get into it, see how fast it, see how long it takes me to get into it. Okay, let's play. Let's see. All right. Uh, now, now we're going. See, this is loading up right away. Now, I think. All right. So, what it seems like this is going to happen is you have to set it up to your 360, and then once, and then it will just be set from there on. So that's nice. I mean, I don't know what it is if you if you didn't have a 360. Um, I want to see if my save my save is here. So, I mean, I didn't do it. I don't have my 360 hooked up to the Xbox One. I don't know how this works. I wonder if my save file is up in the cloud somehow. Let's find out. Right, that's the last thing I'm doing. Uh, I mean, my early impressions of this is, I mean, it's awesome. It looks awesome. The presentation is fantastic. Um, the 360 thing, 360 games suck. Uh, the way you have to do those is annoying and stupid. Um, crap, did I just, oh, well, it looks like they didn't have my save file, so let's just. So, yeah, they don't have my save file. Okay, so it looks like saves don't come over from 360. That's to be expected, but I was just assuming since it read my gamer score. So that kind of sucks that I did that progress and got that ga gamer score, but it, uh. Now let's just make sure I, I don't. Yeah. Oh, uh, look, he's playing a Game Boy. Um, yeah, so I, I think that's all I'm going to show today. Um, if you want to see me play one of these games, uh, just let me know. I might choose to play one. But uh, other than that, I mean, I, I like how it looks. Um, it, for sure, the 360 thing, 360 games could have been done better. It should have been on disc, and then you wouldn't have to hop out. Because, like, right now, I am not even, I'm not in the Rare Replay. I am in... Um, the separate Banjo Kazooie app, I guess. And I would have to go back into the Rare Replay to get back into it. Um, the challenges seem like they're going to be cool to check out. Um, I mean, achievements seem like they're going to be pretty easy to get. Um, there's 10,000 gamer scores, so definitely try to do that. Um, yeah, other than that, I mean, that's that's a, a look at Rare Replay. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I mean, I recommend getting it. I mean, it's only 30 bucks. I got it for 26 bucks off Amazon. Uh, I think it's totally worth it. It's just uh, the the Xbox One is kind of limited on how it 
does its separate apps. Well, that's a whole different story, and we'll go into that. Um, but thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, uh, and I will talk to you later.